Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do the daily vibes for... Well, I think it's the, is it like a solar eclipse? New moon? Yeah, yeah, so we'll start with that. The, the timing is fluid, so right around the 21st, but you know, timing is infinite, right? So what do we have for our message today? Five of Cups. Five of Cups is wallowing. Focusing on the past. Focusing on some sort of pain. So somebody's focusing on a loss when they should be focusing on what's left. This person knows there's another opportunity. And they've been wasting time focusing on this loss. It's like I cannot believe this has happened. I can't believe this has happened. How did this happen? The Emperor could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with a father or somebody in authority. This could be a business owner, a boss, um, a ruler of some sort. Now this is a loss and this is of somebody in authority. So there could be, you know, grieving. Okay, this is grieving and this is somebody in authority. So it could be a father, it could be over the loss of a father or a husband or, you know, um, a title even. A rulership. Somebody could even be losing their title. Now this guy is very demanding, very controlling, rigid. He has some, he's a planner of some sort. He makes plans. He's all about structure and organization and power. This guy has been in control. He's been in control for a long time. So there's going to be a loss of an individual that is in power, okay? This person is about, I feel like they're, they're, I feel like there's going to be, I feel like there's going to be a loss of this, loss of power, okay? Let's get another card. Hermit reversed. Hermit reversed now. That's un, dis, not enlightened. Whoops. Mm. Everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. So there could, this is somebody who is not enlightened. Or they've already been through a period of enlightenment. But I don't think that's the case at this point. I don't feel like that's what this is. I feel like um, there's some sort of disconnection. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm sorry, there's been, there's going to be an interruption. Okay, sorry. So that is uh, coming out of hiding, okay? So this is, this is, this is coming out of hiding. Some, something is about to be shown, okay? I don't know what it is. Sorry, I had an interruption out there I had to take care of before I got out of control. So, And it's interesting because the emperor is all about control. Okay? So that's interesting. Um, there's an element of loneliness here. We could have an individual that is going through a midlife crisis. This person is probably fearful of growing old alone as well. Very rigid individual. 
doesn't want to be alone. So hmm, grieving over a loss, suffering, maybe in a situation that is superficial. Okay, so interesting. Likes to be in control. Star. Now this is a star. This is this is uh there's hope. Star is a card of a new purpose. A wish being granted, unexpected help. Help arriving. There's unexpected help. Hoping hoping for uh something. Somebody is hoping for something. But the star comes after tower. So help will arrive after the tower falls, okay? This guy is going to experience a tower moment. Whoever this person is that is in an authoritative position, I feel like this person has abused their power. Is going through some sort of midlife crisis. Probably praying, praying for something, praying for a resolution or praying for... Uh, help maybe begging for help okay because this is help arriving because the tower is falling right now the tower comes before the star okay so the tower is falling this person is not very awakened okay this individual very superficial and shallow uh, egotistical likes to be recognized by the world okay is very much under a lot of social pressure to be in control okay to be the boss to be the father whatever it is this fell right here Bell so we're gonna put it right here so this is Receiving a blessing of some sort, a wish being granted. This guy may be wishing for something. Maybe he's wishing for something. Wishing to. Uh, now, this is Empress reversed. Hmm. Now, the Empress reversed is some sort of termination. It is. It's a termination, there's a lack of growth. There's an individual here that is very self-absorbed. Could be a feminine. Okay, okay. So we have we have the masculine and the feminine here. So this is the masculine and this is the feminine. The, this feminine right here is very selfish, very self-absorbed, very uh, uncaring, okay? Forceful. Uh has a poor image, you know, a poor self-image. This person is very needy. Can't take care of herself. So this individual can't take care of herself. She doesn't take very good care of her children either. Now this is a ruler or a dictator or a father or somebody in authority that is definitely making a decision because he's making a decision. And this could be to bring help. Okay, so there could be a decision made that help is needed. Um, there could be a mother that isn't doing a very good job. I'm just being honest with you. Or we have a, if it's not a mother, this is a woman that is very selfish and needy. Uh, she may even have affairs. Okay, the Empress in Reverse has affairs. She involves herself in third party situations. She's um, not very healthy at all. She doesn't make healthy choices, put it that way. And there may have been a lack of awareness. This is a, the hermit reverse. Somebody may not have known. They may not have seen. Six of pentacles reverse. Now, this is something being taken away. The six of pentacles reverse. There's been some sort of injustice here. We have a fraud. This person may be very beautiful, but they're a fraud. A strong control. We, we could even have a husband and a wife here. We could have a husband and a wife. This wife is jealous. This wife had, does has bad intentions. Okay? She may have intentions in taking something. Could be money. I don't know what it is. But it could be money. It's something of value. Put it that way. So this person is malicious. 
has intentions of taking something. But there's some level of protection here because the star is a card of protection. Now this guy is mourning over a loss. There's still an opportunity for love. It does, this, this woman is wicked, is very wicked. Very much, very, very selfish, wanting to take something away. All about money, too. This, this one is all about money. Very selfish. Very greedy. So we have a very greedy individual here that is only thinking about themselves. This, I feel like this person is in the process of making a decision. Becoming aware of a situation, let's hope and pray. Knight of Cups reversed. Now the Knight of Cups reversed is not not opening, not following heart. So this guy is not using his heart, okay? He's using his mind. He's using his mind. He hasn't been using his heart. But there's grieving here. Grieving, feeling it. I think it's emotional. Maybe feeling something in his heart. It's very emotional, but not expressing his feelings, now he probably there's this, there's hope there's still some sort of hope there's hope for a renewal here there's hope to heal a situation but the knight of cups reverse is somebody that deserts you it is it's somebody that comes to sweep you off your feet or somebody that comes riding in on their horse you know their knight in shining armor whatever and it's it's not it's not real okay it's too good to be true it's, they don't really have anything to offer. But anyway, the Knight of Cups reverse is, is somebody that is not, doesn't have anything really emotional. They can't, they aren't offering any sort of emotional support or anything like that. They're not really looking for love. They don't even know what love is by the looks of things. Wow! Page of Cups reverse. So yeah, this is a this is a loveless situation here. Somebody is is uh, it's very uh, emotional too. We could have a father or somebody that is in in authority, whether it's a boss or this ruler or whoever it is, and it could be a business owner. I don't. The, the emperor is somebody that is very has been in a position of authority in the past. There's tears here, okay? And this guy is very rigid. He's very rigid, but he may not be able to control his emotions, put it that way. We have the Five of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups reverse, and the Page of Cups reverse. So there's, and there's child, child issues here. It may have something to do with a child. Maybe a loss of a child, something like that. There could be some regrets. Five of Cups can be regrets. Somebody may be having some some sort of regrets. There is still hope, okay? There is still hope, but this witch needs to be taken care of. Anyhow, um, the Empress in reverse isn't an Empress. It's an Empress wannabe. Four of Pentacles reverse, opening up, letting go. So this, this masculine is about to open up, is about to let go. And the Four of Pentacles is letting go of fear. He's going to use his head to make a decision that he has been reluctant to make. He's been thinking about it for a long time with the hermit. Okay, even if it's reversed. He's been thinking about it and thinking about it. He was in, and this may be his wife. Or the woman that he is with. I don't know. There's a, this is a feminine who is very, very selfish. Okay, all she cares about is money. Okay, it's all she gets. Six of Pentacles right here. She, she's, she's uh, not very generous. She's not very kind. And when she is generous, she expects something in return. That's called an abuse of generosity. You, you don't give to get. You give for the reward. You don't give to get paid back later. You know, you give for the reward. Not this person. This person is giving, or has given something with expectations. Okay? That's what this, this Empress reverse next to the Six of Pentacles reversed is. 
somebody has always given with some sort of not unconditional love, okay? Hell no. I will give with expectation of getting back. So that's an abuse of generosity. So we have somebody here that is that is probably abusive. This person is a fraud. Okay, they are. This person, this, this feminine right here is a fraud. It's a wife or a girlfriend. That has abused their power. At one time, this person was a good person, but something changed them. But this, 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 uh, the star is a card of healing. There is healing here and protection. Some wish is being granted. And I think it's the masculine's wish. A masculine's, wi a masculine's wish or prayer is about to be answered. Something is, something is letting go. He's letting go of fear. Um, magician reversed. Now, the magician reversed is manipulation, lying, not taking action, abuse of power. Again, not qualified, somebody that didn't plan, didn't plan. No more resources. Arrogant. We have an arrogant individual that has lost their resources. They've lost money as well. Their financial resources. Okay, we got we got fine. We, so the, the maybe it's this. We could have a couple here, a husband and a wife, or a boyfriend and a girlfriend, or business owners, or partners, or I don't know what it is. Somebody has has lost their financial ground. Put it that way. They're losing it. There's no resources. There's been a lot of lies. There's been a lot of deception. There's been some manipulation. Now I feel like because these people manipulated in the past, they abused their power, they are going to lose. That's exactly what this is too. We have a couple or a somebody that is an authority that has abused their power. And now they're they're grieving. They're grieving. They're feeling it. They're feeling it. They're feeling the pain. It's like what goes around comes around. Where's the infinity sign on this magician card? Yeah, what goes around comes around. These people are of bad character. They don't have a very good character. But this is things, it's letting go of fear. They were not, somebody wasn't taking any action. Three of wands reverse. Lack of foresight, wasted time. Not seeing the opportunity. Somebody wasn't seeing the opportunity. They weren't seeing the truth either. Four of Wands reversed. A very, we have a very unhappy situation here. It may have to do with the family, the home. There's probably going to be, you know, the Four of Wands reversed is usually a celebration. I mean, upright is a celebration. This, this party is over, right? <clears throat> it's a messy. <clears throat> oh. All of a sudden, it's like I can't breathe. So somebody may not be able to breathe. So and I, I don't know what happened. Anyway, it's a messy situation. It's it's definitely messy. So we got a messy, messy situation here. And I think it involves a child or children. Somebody has lied. They've manipulated. They've been dishonest. But this person wasn't seeing. There's a lot. Did not see. Did not see that they were dealing with this individual that was. A fraud. Now there could be a separation that is coming up. There could be a separation of some sort. A split. This is the Four of Wands reversed. It's this party is over. It's time to clean up this mess. 
Now this is a rejection, the page of cups reverse. It's a rejection. Somebody is needing to follow their heart and they haven't been following their heart. They haven't with the with the Knight of Cups reverse and the Page of Cups reverse. This person has been in a tough position where, you know, he's been having to make a decision, he's been, relu been reluctant to make a decision because, you know, somebody is, you know, it's a tough one. It's a tough decision because this person is so, um, such a good fraud, put it that way hides things that the hermit is about hiding things it hides things very well okay so I think we have a masculine that was not aware was not aware that he was dealing with this nasty individual that was abusing their power in and had no good intentions, okay? The Empress in reversed is has is has does not have good intentions. Was just staying for the money and the security and all she cares about is the money and security. That's it. That's it. I think this guy's get going through some sort of awakening. I do. I think he's going through some sort of awakening and now he's grieving. He's having regrets. He's having some sort of regrets. He's been manipulated by a pathological liar. It's this one right here. We have a pathological liar that has manipulated him into believing. <laughs> hmm. But this is a split. This this party is absolutely over. Feels like somebody is going down. High priestess choosing to be alone. I'd rather be alone. The high priestess reverse. So this is a lack of awareness. There's secrets. There's a secret that is... We have an individual that has been keeping secrets. And this individual hasn't seen it. But I feel like the truth is about to come out. I do feel like the truth is about to come out. Or be realized with the high priestess reverse somebody may have been ignoring their intuition you know they were ignoring their intuition they were ignoring what they were hearing they were ignoring what they were seeing but now it's like it's like now they see it's like I know it's weird how that just happens like that they see that they were being manipulated they see that they were being used um, This individual it lacks female friends. Nobody likes this person. Because they're malicious. Ten of Pentacles. This has to do with a family or a home or an establishment. Somebody was staying just for the financial stability of it. But this is a 10. It's a completion. There's going to be a change. There's going to be a change in, in the, uh, I don't know, maybe it's the hierarchy or the legacy, the family legacy. May have to do with money or inheritance or something like that. This is about handing down money or passing down money or the home or something about property. Somebody is dealing with a very secretive individual that is very, very much into what they can get financially. That is what I see. And I feel like this, this, uh, there's going to be a rejection. Okay. This is a rejection. Somebody is going to be rejected. You know, this guy is going to make a decision to reject, reject the offer from this person that if there's going to be a no, nope. The answer is no. Magician reversed is no. Upright would be a yes. The answer is no. 
So somebody's going to get a no. Not interested. This person is very experienced, has life experience, and, and does well, you know, using their past, you know, as experience. Something is going to be dropped. Okay, something is going to be dropped. Maybe it's this person who is very shallow and superficial and egotistical and has abused their power and is only in it for the uh, financial gain. Very loose, you know, lacks common sense. Isn't worth keeping. So I feel like we have a masculine that is about to say, nope, I'm not interested. I feel like he's gone through some sort of awakening. I do. We have the hermit reversed, and then we have the uh, hangman reversed. So I feel like this guy was really struggling because he had to make some sort of choice. He had to make some sort of choice between... You know, following his heart and following his, you know, the social pressure or this woman that was, you know, maybe she was socially acceptable, but she weren't all she was cracked up to be. That's for damn sure. So anyhow, uh, we do have a masculine that is making a decision and it has to do with property or family or the home or the business um, or money. He is making a decision and the answer is no. So that's what I see. Good luck. Somebody's going to hear a no. Nope. Good luck.